In this video, we're going to look at how to make a toddler's birthday design in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. And if you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So I have a couple of images here and I'm going to use this to illustrate to you how to convert this particular toddler's image into something beautiful that you can use for birthday present and you can even print this at your various homes so let's jump into photoshop so first of all i'm going to drag this picture into photoshop and then i like the size everything is intact and then we will want to add a little bit or something small to this one so what i'm going to do first is i'm going for my magic wand tool and then i'm going to make a selection over here so I'm going to delete this particular part and go to the refined edge because I want a very smooth edge. So I'm going to make the smoothness 100% and then the feather is going to be anywhere from 0.2 upwards. So I'm going to press enter and then hit on delete button a couple of times so that the edges will be very smooth for me. So it is as simple as that. Next I'm going to press ctrl shift and then L to auto level this image and then i press ctrl l to level this particular image so something like this will be okay for me so next i go for my cropping tool and then i open this one up a little bit because i'm going to add a third party image to this so this is what i'm having and then i'll go back to my stock images and then i'm going to put all these three to so let me know in the comment section which of them fits the image very best so i'll drag this one inside and then i'll double click to make it all right and then i'm going to send this beneath my image so i press ctrl t and then i transform this like that so basically that's it and i'm going to also drag the second one which is this one of course and then i'm going to drag it in so vote in the comment section which one of them do you think it fits or it fitted any one of them very well so this is the second one and lastly this is the third one so let me know your thoughts about which of them that fits very well so that is it so we have three particular backgrounds over here this one the third one the second one and of course the first one so for me i'm going for this one and then next i'm going to select my rectangle to draw a nice rectangle over here something nice and then i have to send it on top of all the layers so i'm going to change the color to black and then i'm going to decrease the opacity to 70 percent so i'll position it over here and then press ctrl j to make a duplicate so i'm going to press ctrl t to transform this and then turn this opacity to 100 percent but the fill to zero percent the reason being that you're going to double click on it and then you're going to add a stroke to this one so the color of the stroke would have to be white and then we click ok so you click ok here when you are done i have a couple of tests written in the notepad so i'm going to choose my test tool and then right outside of the box i'm going to make use of acrobats and then i'll go for a semi bold over here so i'll go to my notepad and then copy this one and then i'm going to paste it right over here i'll first of all make sure it is in the left alignment so that i can align this one very nicely like this and then i press ctrl t to transform this to make sure that it has fit the rectangle well so next i'm going to select all of this and make sure i center align it and then position it over here so i'm going to duplicate this particular test and then drag it down over here and then i'm going to change this one to happy birthday so the happy birthday i prefer to go for the font a vertical insert and then i'm going to press ctrl t to transform it out a little bit so it will be over here and that's it so let's double click on this one go to the drop shadow and then we're going to drop a little bit of shadow over here so i'm going to copy the same particular test 
and then bring it over here and then i'm going to change this one to plus one the plus one would have to be something bold over here so you can place it either here or here anywhere you want to let me know in the comment section where you think it fits the best so i would like to place it over here and that is it so basically we've gone from a whole picture to something that we've added a background to and you can do this for your toddlers when they are celebrating their birthday let me know your thoughts in the comment section i hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for taking your time to watch this i'll see you in the next one it's innocent here bye